In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove header pins from your NAS32 board or any other circuit board without destroying the board. Um, as you can see, this is one of the boards that I destroyed before I learned how to do it the proper way. Um, before, I would used to try to put solder wick on the top, bottom, and in between and remove all the solder and then try to take the, the header pin out all at once. But what ends up usually happening is you end up uh, applying too much heat to these um, solder pins or the solder pads and it rips out the little the pad making the board pretty much useless so the way I learned to do it correctly is first you have to remove this little plastic thing holding all the header pins together like this and you put this to the side and then now you can remove these uh, pins individually without um, remove without removing the solder so what I have here is um, I have my maze 32 board on a little clamp like this um, this just makes it easy so I can work on both sides of the of the maze 32 so what I'm gonna do is just apply heat to one side and pull it out the other side Okay, so you can see after I removed all the pins, it didn't require a whole lot of heat um, to remove it. And now, now that you have your pins removed, you would use solder wick to remove the solder from in between the little holes. And then if you don't have a new header pin that you're going to use, you would just use solder wick to remove a little bit of the um, solder from the pins and then you just take your pins and you put them back into the little plastic holder and then once you do that you can just solder it back onto your NAS32 however you want it so next I'm just going to use solder wick to remove the solder from these holes so I could put my uh, header pins back in So once you have the solder removed from the holes, what I did was I took the pins from the from the NACE32 board that we took off earlier and I put them back in the plastic holder. And then from here you can just solder them back in however way you want it. Yeah. So that's how you remove header pins from a NACE32 board without destroying it. Thanks for watching and don't don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.